Well, the big game's about to commence. It's in George being let out by Norm Pope. They look very fit in the new jumpers today. And the last man coming through the gate, and look around here, is the referee and uh, Eric Ashton. Eric Ashton, the touring captain, with David Bolton, Mike McTeague, Ike Southwood, Neil Fox, Bill Sayers, and Norman Herbert. Behind him is Billy Boston, Brian Edgar, Derek Turner, last line of defence, and Jerry Round. The section of the crowd here, 57,744 people, sees referee Darcy Buller officiate as Ashton and Norm Proven shake hands. Well, very shortly now, the ball will be handed over to the young halfback in St George, Denny O'Brien. Now, Denny O'Brien will resume play from the halfway mark. Now, this section of the big crowd here at the Sydney Cricket Ground. Well, from the kickoff, it's uh, this fielder there by Boston and uh, referee Darcy Buller. Right up with the play, orders the scrum down the Mercurial Murphy, whips it in, gets it away this time, it's picked up by Derek Turner, but referee Darcy Lawler has given a penalty here against Bill Sayers, the English hooker. There goes the kick by Brian Graham, being fielded here and eventually knocked on, but players without a continue, driving it down fielders while she picks up. That jelly round alongside of him, players dangerously close to Great Britain's line. As a nice chain passing here, Ryan goes through, is quickly upended by Brian Edgar. St George on the attack as they probe away at Great Britain's line. As Proven clears the ruck, tucks his head, darts the line himself, but is hard held and shoved back by the avalanche of the British players. Referee Darcy Lawler watching play very closely as the scrum goes down. Alex Murphy fires and it's a St George ball with play moving downfield, picked up by David Bolton. The solid play gets to his feet, passes off to the ground as Raper. Raper gets it away to Proven. Proven moving downfield is picked up by the cover defence, drops the ball, and Britain have possession. Getting up off the ground this time is Bolton, who plays the ball back once again. Derek Turner gets it away to Mike McTeague. McTeague is pulled down by Wilson with the help of Walsh. Lawler right up with the players. The ball's about to be played back here to the ruck half in Bill Sayer, the English hooker, who clears the ruck with a pass out to Derek Turner, who kicks downfield. From the result in scrum, the ball's kicked through by Edgar, picked up by Lumsden, who gets it away to Clay. Clay moves nicely downfield, gives it back in field with St. George on the attack. And this time being caught in possession is David Brown, number four of St. George, who plays the ball back once again to Raper. He gives a pass along the ground. It's picked up by Denny O'Brien, who was chased by David Bolton and brought down. Denny O'Brien plays the ball back once again. It's fielded here by Monty Porter, who gets it away to Ryan. But the cover defensive Tiger Dick Hutter was there to bring down Ryan. Have a scuffle on the ground as the two boys here, but the ball's played back. Picking up here this time is St. George on the halfway mark. Clay gets his pass away. It's picked up by Gasnia. Gasnia grounded just inside the halfway mark. Very interesting football so early in the piece as Walsh clears the ruck for St. George. With a pass going out to Wilson. Running off Wilson is Clay. Clay puts his boot to the ball. It's cut off by Billy Boston. Boston's tackle there and marked in the play of the ball by Reg Gasnia. David Bolton, number two, picks up and clears the ruck for Great Britain. With a pass this time to Jerry Round, number 18, who's quickly captured there and brought down by Gasnia. With the help of Walsh, he plays the ball back. And Britain's uh, Ashton gets his pass away to his supports. Fumbling with the ball here is Herbert. Herbert gets up for Great Britain to play it back to Sayers. Sayers gives a nice pass out to McTeague. The backing up of McTeague gets a pass to Murphy. From Murphy to Neil Fox. Fox moving downfield. Is picked up by the cover defence. Chiefly Proven, who marks him in the play of the ball. It's kicked through here to Murphy. Murphy gets it away to McTeague. Going without the ball, there was Huddett. And St George's Walsh has possession for St George. From the play of the ball, Kevin Ryan clears it this time with a pass to Bluey Wilson. Running off Wilson is Monty Porter, but he's cut off and brought down by Ashton. From the play of the ball, Wilson of St George clears the ruck. Number 13, moving around, gives the pass to O'Brien to Clay. Plays tackled by Alex Murphy, who marks him in the play of the ball. Walsh clears the ruck for St George. With the pass going out this time to David Brown, who veers out towards the hillside of the Sydney cricket ground. It's picked up there, drops the ball, it's gone to Herbert. Herbert once again is marked in the play of the ball by Norm Proven. Herbert plays the ball back this time to Sayers. Sayers to McTeague from McTeague running off here was Brian Edgar and the burly Edgar tried to give it a deceptive dummy there but it's tackled around the ankles by Brian Clay and marked in the play of the ball by Monty Porter. From the play of the ball this time it's Alex Murphy who gets a pass to McTeague who gets a one-hander. Out it goes to Dick Huddett. Huddett is grabbed from behind by Proven and plowed into the ground. From the play of the ball this time picking up is Dick Turner who decides to go on his own. He gives a long pass this time out to Neil Fox. Fox is charged down by Brown. Great Britain have possession on the hillside of the Sydney cricket ground. Now the ball's been picked up by Monty Porter, who gets it away, and St George come into the picture, being tackled on the halfway mark by Boston as Reg Gasnia. Gasnia gets to his feet, plays the ball back to Raper. Raper gives a bullet-like pass. Out it goes amongst the St George forwards. This time coming to the picture is Walsh. Walsh is charged down from behind by Alex Murphy and brought down just over the halfway mark. Brian Graham on the roll of Rucker after this time gets a long pass away, and St George still have possession. Played this time by Monty Porter. Out it goes to Raper from Raper to Proven. Proven has met in a sandwich tackled by David Bolton Sayers and brought down. 
From the play, the ball by Proven. Johnny Raper clears the ruck with the pass going out to Clay. Clay moves downfield, but once again is quickly cut off by the cover defence. Chiefly Herbert, who marks him in the play, the ball. From the ruck play this time, there's Raper giving a whizzing pass. Out it goes to Wilson. Wilson tries to go on his own. as tackled by the English captain in Ashton. Ashton marks Wilson to play the ball, but it's cleared this time with a ruck play going out to Denny O'Brien from Denny O'Brien to Gaffney, who puts his boot to the ball. Gaffney kicks the touch out towards the hillside of the Sydney cricket ground, but it's picked up eventually by the last time the fence and Jerry Round, who was chased by Gaffney and brought down on the ground. Jerry Round plays the ball back this time to the halfback Alex Murphy, who gets it away to Derek Turner. Turner gives the dummy, goes up the centre, crashes in amongst the St George forwards, where he's quickly brought down by Raper. From the play of the ball, the great ball distributor Mike McTeague gets it away this time to Edgar, who slips on the ground, gives an overhead head pass was cheaply picked up by Jerry Round. Round's quickly brought down by Raper. From the play of the ball once again, Sayers clears the ruck with a pass going out to Edgar. Running off Edgar this time is Herbert. Herbert's quickly tackled there by Clay, but plays the ball back to Sayers. Sayers gets a nice pass this time. Nice the away to uh, Dick Huddard. Huddard is brought down by Clay with the help of Ron, but he plays the ball back once again to Sayers. Sayers gets his supports moving with a pass going out to Turner, who kicks downfield. Down goes the scrum, in goes the ball. Murphy races away from the scrum base, gets it away to Bolt, not to Neil Fox. And Fox is eventually tackled and brought down by David Brown. Great Britain still have possession, waiting to pick up in the ruck half position as Bolton, who gets his pass away this time, out in a flash to Ashton. And Great Britain attacking with the, the ball being picked up once again by Alex Murphy as well until he grounded by Brian Graham. From the play, the ball this time. The ball's booted through, goes to the hands of Jerry Round, the touring fullback, who moves in amongst the court, steps away from attempt of tackle, and is eventually grounded over on the very far side and marked by Wilson to play the ball. Great Britain still have possession this time. Going through is Derek Turner, who's quickly tackled by Ryan. Derek Turner. Down goes the scrum. And Denny O'Brien plucks it out of the scrum there, gives it away, and coming in full of running as Brian Graham gives an overhead pass to Gaffney, is taken there by Billy Boston and brought down. Feet to play the ball back to Raper. Raper clears the ruck this time with a nice pass going out to Proven. Proven veers out towards the hillside, gives a flick pass back inside to Walsh. And the St. George hooker makes the ball to the job. And the guy, ball boat going out this time to Ryan. Ryan is quickly tackled, marked in the play of the ball by uh, Derek Turner. From the play of the ball, Monty Porter clears the ruck this time with a pass going out nicely to Wilson, who moves and wins up towards the halfway mark, is grabbed from behind and put on the ground by Brian Edgar. But Raper sends the ball away to Clay. Clay moves up towards the halfway mark with England standing right up here. Proven clears the ruck this time with a pass going to David Brown, who kicks the touch with a nice kick, bringing Lumsden into the chase. But the ball's picked up by Jerry Round. Round is caught by Lumsden and Brown and quickly put on the turf. Now from the play of the ball, Jerry Round about to play the ball back this time to Sayers. Sayers clears the ruck with a pass going this time to Herbert. Herbert's quickly tackled, gets to his feet, plays the ball back once again to Sayers. Sayers gives it away to McTeague. McTeague trying to uh, get his support moving. Does this time with a pass to Herbert. And running off Herbert is the sidestepping Alex Murphy. is racing into the open and gives the pass this time to Neil Fox. With Ike Southwood on the outside, he's going right for the line. Gives it away to Ike Southwood. It was well until he tackled by Bron Graham and bundled into touch. A 25-yard dropout now taken by Bron Graham with plenty of power behind this kick. Kicks down for touch with Billy Boston chasing the ball, but down goes the scrum, and it's won by Great Britain with Murphy coming around the blind side with Boston going on the inside of him, but Murphy sets sail for the line, and a beautiful tackle by Brian Grant to bring down the mercurial Alex Murphy. Murphy getting to his feet, and down goes the scrum, and St. George win this one with Brian Graham coming away full of running from the full-back position. But he's quickly bowled over, and Proven in the dummy half position to play on the alert, ready to get this ball. There goes the pass, being intercepted nicely by Neil Fox, who uh, was brought down by uh, Monty Porter. 25, a penalty, I should say, about to be taken this time by Brian Graham with a torpedo punt, and the ball going into touch. Down they go, St. George win this one, with Clay coming to the picture, getting his pass to Gaznia. Gaznia's tackle on the halfway mark, quickly put down by Neil Fox. Fox takes the ball away, uh, attempt, yeah, he has taken the ball away, from Gasney with referee Darcy Lawler watching the ruck play very, very closely as the ball's played back this time to Derek Turner. Turner gets his pass away to McTeague and running off McTeague is Dick Huddett. Huddett's quickly tackled there and brought down. He'll be marked in the play the ball by Ryan. Derek Turner was there. And also Mike McTeague who picks up, shovels his pass away to Brian Edgar who was marked by Proven in the play the ball very close to the halfway mark. Sayers clears the ruck with a pass this time out to Derek Turner who takes play up towards the halfway mark and is immensely put down just over the halfway mark on St. George's side. Ter Turner plays the ball back this time, and Sayers once again doing a very good job, gives a flick pass away, does Mike McTeague to Dick Huddard, and it runs into the hands of Crow and is put on the ground, but the pass has gone out here, and Great Britain have possession this time with Neil Fox dropping the ball, which is picked up by Raper. Raper moving nicely downfield, 
runs the ball beautifully back in field here. But they've gone without and eventually Ploven picks up for St. George before being tackled by Mike McTeague. From the play of the ball once again, Rafer clears the ruck with a nice pass going out this time to Reg Gaznier. Gaznier moves his way out towards the open, kicks downfield and bringing Lumsden into the picture. Lumsden on the alert, ready to go down to try and pick this one up. But Jerry Round gets to the ball himself before Lumsden. Lumsden chases Round and brings him down with the help there of David Brown. Round plays the ball back once again to Sayers. Sayers clears it this time with a pass going out to Murphy, who kicks well downfield over the head of the St. George players. With Brian Graham coming across field and try and cut this one off with Johnny King right alongside of him. He gives the pass away to Johnny King, does Brian Graham. Johnny King moving up from the 25 yards mark. Stepped away from attempt of tackle by Murphy. Also Mike McTeague, but Murphy comes to bring down Johnny King, who plays the ball back this time to Kevin Ryan. Kevin Ryan to Denny O'Brien, to Raper, out to Clay. They cuts out Gaz, and the ball's picked up by David Brown, with Lumsden alongside of him. He's eventually dropped the ball, which is picked up by David Bolton, and behind Bolton picking up is Neil Fox. Play up towards the hillside of the Sydney cricket ground. This time, once again, Sayers gives the pass away to uh, Dick Huddett. Huddett moving in amongst the St. George forwards. Big, powerful man is Huddett. Hard to bring down. His progress has been stopped as he gets to his feet to play the ball back once again. To Sayers. Sayers sends his pass away to Turner. To McTeague. McTeague couldn't handle clean. He's picked up behind him by Edgar. Edgar's tackled by Raper and Denny O'Brien with the balls along the ground. And Turner gets it away this time to Bolton. But the referee, Darcy Lawler, awards the penalty here. And there goes the kick for touch. By year round. And they scrum it up five yards away from St. George's line. With St. George winning this one, coming away fully full of running as Raper. Raper's quickly tackled. Raper about to get to his feet to play the ball back to the St. George skipper and coach in Proben, who gets the pass along the ground out towards Walsh, who has gone without the ball. And the referee, Darcy Lawler, right up with the play here today. And a penalty to St. George by Brian Graham, who kicks for touch. And the ball soars into touch out on the hillside. From the scrum, it goes down. St. George win this one with play coming to the picture. And uh, David Bolton taking the ball away at the toe. But the whistle has gone as they scrum it up this time with St. George winning this one once again with a pass going from O'Brien to Raper. Raper is caught there by Alex Murphy. But the ball's picked up by Proven who serves up a nice pass to Ryan to Clay. They try to break through but it's a tight defence by Great Britain as Clay gets to his feet, plays the ball back this time to Raper. To Proven, who gives a loping pass out to Gaz into Brown. And Brown moves nicely downfield. Look at David Brown bursting in the open. Gives a pass across field to Gaznia. Gaznia's going right on with the show here. Gives it back to Brown. A flick pass from Brown to Lumsden. And Lumsden has set sail for the post there. And he's chased by Round. But Lumsden goes in to score a magnificent St. George tie with Brian Graham taking the kick. And there she goes. Right between the post. A magnificent effort indeed. Let's have another look at that great try scored by Eddie Lumsden. From the kickoff here by Great Britain, the ball goes well downfield and eventually picking up once again as Lumsden, who's in full flight, coming away from his own 25 yards mark, gets a long floating pass, which is eventually picked up here by David Brown, who was tackled by uh, Murphy. But the ball's played back here to Walsh. Walsh in the role of Ruck. Half has done a good job here today. Gets his pass away to Clay. Plays tackled by Brian McTeague, who marks him in the play of the ball. Walsh clears the Ruck once again with a short pass going to Proven. Proven is once again quickly caught. Proven getting to his feet, marked by Brian Edgar. Plays the ball back to Walsh. Walsh to Kevin Ryan. And a great play here amongst the forwards. The ball's along the ground. Raper's trying to take the ball away there. A bit of a scuffle on the ground. The referee, Darcy Dawler, scrums them down. Murphy comes full of running away from the scrum base. Gives the pass to David Bolton, who gets it away to Neil Fox. Fox moving downfield. is quickly tackled there by Raper. Players very, very close here. Derek Turner picks up in the dummy half position. Gets a floating pass away this time, which eventually picked up by David Bolton. Bolton moving downfield, makes the ball to the job of the pass going to Tiger Dick Hutter, who streaks for the line. He's chased from behind by Brian Graham. It goes down on the Rand weekend for a magnificent try. Well, the big crowd here see Fox take this uh, conversion, and there it goes with...